Experts from around the world are in Rome to attend the first organized World Congress to find solutions to the dangers children face when they log on to the Internet. These dangers consist of sexual harassment, money requests in exchange for not disseminating compromising images, and bullying that crosses classroom limits. Additionally, these online threats are often hidden in false profiles or anonymous messages. Yet they are becoming increasingly frequent and their consequences more serious. In extreme cases, suicide is becoming the last step. Ellie Allen worked for 28 years in the National Center for Missing and Exploited Minors in the United States and saw these risks. More children are being harmed, more children are being sexually abused, the photographs are being distributed online. They're now networks for people who are sexually interested in children where they can share images and information worldwide. It's a global phenomenon. In the United States alone, in 2016, 8 million cases of cyber pedophilia were reported. This year, the numbers have exceeded 10 million. The shocking figures show that the Internet can change the lives of minors, leaving a mark forever. Baroness Joanna Shields and UK Prime Minister David Cameron created We Protect Together. It's a global alliance of leading Internet companies that prevent pedophilia images from being posted online. The Internet is like basic life need at the moment. Everyone has to use it, so it's not like you can avoid it. But, you know, we need to ensure that they're, you know, prepared and they're digitally confident and resilient to recognize harms and dangers, much like we worried when they crossed the street. The innocent gesture of giving a minor a cell phone or tablet as a distraction can be the cause of negative long-term consequences if the young people are not taught how to use them. Sometimes even parents themselves are not aware of the danger of certain applications and social networks. We had a video about um, a young boy who had been drawn into selling drugs on a social media site, which happens. There's been a recent documentary uh, in the UK about how commonplace this is. So all these kids are being drawn into by and influenced by people that normally the parents would be vetting, but they're no longer able to because they're connected to this device 24-7. According to experts, the Internet is a double-edged sword, so it's very important that both parents and children communicate and establish guidelines to use it wisely. That way, as soon as the smallest threat is indicated, a solution can immediately be found.